guys thanks for joining me for tonight this is Melissa I want to talk about some more about marriage so I am getting up early in the morning to work but I want to talk some more about some stuff so um, basically I had talked to somebody this afternoon got some Christian counseling about some stuff with my marriage and um, and then some other information I had too and what you want to do is you really want to get in there to make sure you have covered like every single area to make sure you're going to be okay. Um, so, um, basically, how do I say this? If you have issues in your marriage, you have to look at what the breakup was for, from. Like, why did you break up? So when a man leaves you. You have to try to figure out, and this is why, you know, objecting to stuff in court and keeping the door to communication at some level has to be there because you don't know what the problem was. So for me, where I'm like an optimist, I see the glass half full, my husband sees it half empty. That is a huge issue. Huge. Um... So you want to be able to get in there and figure out like what was the issue and is it resolved? Because if the issue has not been resolved, then you are just going back and doing the same old thing over and over, old habits, right? So you need to figure out, okay, has the issue been resolved? And I know through emails I've been able to be like, you know, What's the problem? What is going on? And to see that perspective of, okay, this is your perspective. This is your problem. Um, that has to be resolved, right? So if somebody um, basically, you know, doesn't want to work out the unresolved issue, you're just going to keep on doing the same old thing, right? So someone has to um, be willing to look at their issue and say, okay, you know what, I see my flaws. I'm willing to work on that. I'm willing to do better because you deserve better. Same with the other spouse. Okay, I can see my flaws. And being comfortable saying, these are my flaws. This is what I see. This is what I could do better. And this is how I can improve. And that's part of being authentic and genuine in life, right? An authentic person can say, yep, I see this and this is where I can improve. So, um, you don't want, you don't want, um, a guy coming back to you because he feels guilty. Guilt will never do anything. A lot of guys come back because they feel like they don't want to be the bad guy when something went down bad. You don't want to be a woman who's in panic mode. You don't want to have fear running you. You don't want to be back in a relationship because you're lonely. Um, you want a genuine connection. So if you've had a genuine connection and you're like, yeah, I mean, I remember there was a genuine connection, right? Then that is a good sign that there is a healthy, you know, connection there. But if you're like, oh, it was never there in the first place then you know that that person was never meant for you in the future. If they're just like, oh, okay, so, you know, you, you, I thought, I thought we had this. I thought we had something where a marriage is for good and it's, you know, you and you're against the world, you know, against the world, you and your partner, marriage against the world and anything that comes your way, you guys can you know, overcome it, that's the type of, uh, how do I say this, the type of belief that you may have had. So if a man leaves after you thought, okay, I thought we could handle anything together, um, and you know you can be a woman who can handle anything that comes your way, that is what you want to be. You know, you want to be like, okay, yeah. I mean, I've had someone say that before to me. You know what? You're the type of woman who can handle anything that comes your way. That's what you want to be like. So when you have somebody who's like, well, you know, I really 
just have given up and I really can't figure out why why I do this and why I have an issue um you the bit the best thing you can do for yourself if somebody leaves you if your husband leaves you is to accept it accept that they were not the person you thought they were so that is something that I heard today in counseling after making all these videos I'm like that is so freeing to realize okay I thought I was in a relationship with someone who was committed I thought I was in a relationship with someone who was willing to take a look at themselves and say hmm you know how can I change what can I do better how can I work on this um, and how can I have the best interests of my spouse in mind, right? So we want to be like looking at a lot of the stuff and say, you know, was he really the one that you thought he was? Or was it your, your misunderstanding that no, this was not the relationship I thought it was. And so by accepting it, you can just move on. You can be like, oh, okay, I thought it was this and it's not. So it's just time to move on. And on my other channel, I've been talking about, you know, different things in marriage. And in marriage, you should be able to have um, a mutual relationship where you edify one another. You're coming alongside, supporting one another. You care about one another. You bring out the best in one another. And when you are seeing, you know, someone who just... I mean, you tr you got to be there for them and say, hey, there's a little bit of window of time here that we have to work this out. And uh, if they just still want to leave, you have to say, okay, I accept that you were not who I thought you were. And you have to just, it's not, it, you have to let go. It's not giving up, but it's letting go. It's saying, okay, I realize you are not who I thought you were and time to move forward. And that is for you. And also what's for you is to forgive. Just forgive because it releases you from any, you know, bondage or anger or whatever that you could have and just move forward. And that's the best advice I have heard um, for someone who just gets up and leaves. It's accept that they were not who you thought they were. And, you know... It, don't don't lie to yourself. Don't be like, oh, we never had a genuine bond. You know, we never had one. Because sometimes there really was a genuine bond. There really was a connection. So don't lie to yourself just to protect yourself and say, oh, it was never there. Because it was, but you may have not realized, okay, I didn't know they were this type of person who, when things got rough and storms came, you know, because storms come in life all the time that they are this type of person. So just remember that as if you have somebody who leaves you, I will be talking on my other channel about more things to encourage you to work at your relationship and more things that are helpful. Things not only that men need, but that women need too. And I, I'm just going to go deep into relationship, family life over there. So join me. I will probably have something tomorrow night or Friday not sure tomorrow night is a class I signed up for for free it's keeping stress out of your life and how to do that and then Friday I have another call about um, some counsel on how to move on uh, from you know uh, somebody just you know just leaving a, a marriage so that is um, another tool that I use is to uh, invest in myself, how to move forward and how to, how to go forward when somebody, you know, doesn't want to be with you and how to make it healthy for yourself. Okay. Thanks for joining me guys.